time once again for the fall pulling of fish and plants and everything else. Temporarily piling up the water hyacinth here. Look at all this water lettuce. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Got it piled up in there too because I got to clear off the top in order to be able to get the fish out. And we're draining out, going down the drain over there. So, we're all good. I know it's a bit messy right now, but we're also starting construction of um, turning the second this uh, second area. You know, there's the door to go out and everything, but we're. Uh, turning this into a full facility this whole side because we got our facility in there as you know and this um this whole side here all this crap's going to come out this is going to be rows of tanks it's going to be beautiful it'll be easier once we get a lower water level oh yeah but right now we're just playing games and scooping off plants from the top. Yeah. Go back over here again. That's that other nice sword with it. Wow! Fast little bastards, huh? Whoa! They're like a bullet. Yes, they are. And here's some of our little buddies we just put in from out there. Don't have the filters or anything hooked up yet, but we'll do that momentarily. We're still fishing fish out. Look at how beautiful. Awesome. Really nice sword. Stay there in here, buddy. I got some three, three quarter black females that I got put in the three quarter black thing. <laughs> I let that water get lower. Boy, are they smart. Pond, and the big beautiful tails go up that way. Yeah, that tank's clearing up now a bit. Ooh, Ooh, that's she's good. puppy. She feels like she got eggs. Well, any of Probably them that's, does. <laughs> yeah, any of them that's puppy got eggs. Shorty tail. Shorty tail. Oh, trying to catch these fish is ridiculous All with the water this high. I caught one. I got it. You got it. The great white hunter. Yeah, that, oh, li so that liner messes you up. <laughs> Good luck. Big bodies with these that short tails. They're probably all female. Now this, let's get a good look at this. This is oh, that's baby. Amazing. That's baby. Turn it. I know. Oh. <laughs> See now, I'm gonna put him in here because that's yeah. our prize fish. We keep him. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Oh yeah. I like this big red one though. She's really, he's really, uh, he's short body, but he's got a tail on him that's really awesome. Now look at this. Here's a big tail. Yeah. 
gonna show the audience in here. Look at that, look oh, how yeah. beautiful that is. Yeah. But see, these fish weren't that big in the spring when we put them in. They've really grown a lot. They make a U-turn right in front of you and make you look bad. <laughs> Too much water and too small of a net. There we go. Oh, there you go. We got one. Big with a nice, nice female. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you got a gup in there too. With it. Look at that big bitch. Yeah. Bertha. Ooh, careful. I know. It's slippery. And a and little a guppy. Gup. Poor gup probably got scrunched. <laughs> Because Connie's mom sat on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sword running alongside. Now look at this. Smaller body, but gorgeous it's tail. Big tail, yeah. Now watch what happens when I put them in. Look at how beautiful that is. That's awesome. That is awesome. Another good tail. Now look, see if your if your pump goes bad, if you got one of these outside pumps and it goes bad, you can buy these little pumps like this one here. You can pump your water right into your filtering uh, net, and it'll do the same thing, or possibly even better. And you don't have to worry another about pump. that's really great about buying another pump and everything, or buying another filter because these little pumps are great. And all you do is run a hose up. I got that on Amazon. Stick it if back I remember in the old right. filter, and you've got your filter screening. And they do this pump. This little pump does a great job. If I remember right, I got that on Amazon. Yeah, you did get this on Amazon. But it's a great little pump. So all my uh, all my filters like this that went bad on me, I had some that uh, you used to run them with air, and. Uh, the parts just died on it, and it didn't. It didn't do that well. So now with this this type of pump here, running the hose in there, it's it's ten times better than the air trying to push the water through. It's really great. Now uh, we really got started here. We we're going to be having tanks all the way across here. Let me get a shot. Yeah, I already to gave show you. Tour. Oh yeah, that's all right. Well, I'm giving another tour here. Ooh. Ah, in the crap. Ah uh ha. -huh. Bitch. So then we're going to have tanks back here too, where that hot water heater is running across, and uh, and then uh, over on this side where we've got all the shelving and everything. This is going to be gone, and there's going to be more more tanks there for our fish, because we're going to be breeding all types of fish, egg layers and what have you, angel fish. I love the angels if I could get some nice black lace veils and some African cichlids. Those African cichlids are okay, uh, but a lot of people seem to like them. But this is kind of fun, pulling the fish out from the pond and then bringing them in here, sorting them out. And then of course we've got our whole group in here. <laughs> yep, now it's easy. Now it's easy, Luigi. Got the water level down. Which we're now sorting fish out and putting them into different tanks like this tank here that has the three quarter blacks. And these are, all, this is like uh, sixth generation. I never had red tails before, but through inbreeding, I have managed to steal the red from the three quarter black and get an all red tail without the three quarter yeah, black. Well, and I've also got red females now that I never had before. So that's working out rather well for me. But it's taken six years to get the red. See that female with the red there that I'm showing? It took yeah, six yeah, years to this. finally get the red in these tails. Yeah. Give me a this. Time to free Willy! Free Willy! Free Willy! There goes Willy. Well, <laughs> Willy Snowy. We can't see real good in these tanks right now.
Got the bog hooked back up because we no Just longer need to drain it. Getting the nice swords out. Yep. And then this is a lot of our baby stock. All kinds of baby stock in here that's coming up again. And that we'll be running in the pond next year. Plus our sharks. And sharks we didn't have real good luck with. Yeah. We're still working on it. We're still working on it. Now here's here's three quarter blacks here that I got my second tank of them. <clears throat> and then down here I got the oddballs. I got everything in here. Uh, from fancy right to commons, the males are coming up. This is an all male tank. So as they're growing I can watch and I can pick out what I want to use. But the most fun has been look at the size of that female. The most <laughs> Not a regular elephant, huh? Uh, the most fun has been trying to get the colors to breed and sort out colors, which has been fun but uh, rough at the same time. Now this tank here is a tank that I'm doing experiments with. Stuff I took that day, you'll see. Got everything, you'll see. And there's Peter invoking an operation. Just the tip. Time to bring all these bad boys in the house. Oh, it's starting to look like a fish tank. 
<laughs> Starting. It's been looking like it. This remind me of salmon trying to swim upstream. Good luck, fishy. You're not going to make it. Okay, I'm going to clean up now then. Dave, i got to clean up and go. Alright, you do that. Hey, Connie, come here, take a look. Oh, don't come down there with no shoes on, you big dummy. <laughs> You're going to get your feet all nasty. That's her problem. No, they feet cracked it upstairs. <laughs> Depends on the favor. Very small one. Scoop, scoop guppies out and throw them in this tank. Okay. Swords up here. Any swords that's in the bucket now, put them up here. Okay. And then uh, throw a few down in that tank there. You can throw a few in this tank here. Alrighty. Nothing in the upper tank. And there's our fish. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. Big, beautiful fish. And there's still more to catch outside. Johnny, you're going you're gonna to carry this upstairs. If you don't have shoes on. Don't oh. worry about it. I took them off. Yeah, but you leave them on. You're going to go upstairs and you're going to track everything upstairs that's down here, babe. Mm -hmm. I'll just come to the bathroom and wash them off. Oh, you have to walk on your heels. Well, I don't walk on my nails. I'll be the first. Don't come down here like that. They're trying hard, aren't they? I think so far our hydroponic setup is freaking awesome. What do you all think? It's nice to not have to need to change filters. Just the plants take in everything. Awesome. Get some roses. That's bamboo. That's roses. I bought those two last time Katarina was here. Beautiful. Easier than earlier. Oh, well, that was just playing around. You know, because we're draining off. I you know we are going to drain the water. We're just like catching up with it a little bit. There's a nice orange one. It's a beautiful tail. Yeah, and as it's getting more noticeable and noticeable, you see that there's the, the, the floor on there has different elevations to form pockets to corral the fish in. Yeah. So if you lowered this more, th this one whole thing would actually divide into Do two. Do I get that one? Uh, yeah, he's getting yeah, a good deal. Yeah, yeah. But um, this would divide into two with a little bit less water. Yep. That would divide into two. And then there's our then staircase we three. if we want to walk down. Yeah, exactly, because we built a staircase out of this. I mean, I think we've shown this in other videos, but I'll show it again this time, too, just for fun. It's built as a staircase, so it can be literally um, walked down. Walk down for maintenance. Another 
another nice tail red one. Look at them. Makes life easier. <laughs> and the bottom section there is divided into two corral points. There's a, a hump in the in the middle right there. So then you got that end point that's its own corral point. And then this here is its own. So if we drop this water by about half a foot more, that hump would be sticking up and the fish would be divided into three. That one over there. And yeah, there's another here. low area there. Mm -hmm. So if you were, if we if we lower it a little more, then you'll be corralling them even further. It's actually too easy. These are all large tails. <laughs> She's pretty fat. Experiment. I like experimenting. Oh, some more nice ones. They're small, but they're nice. They're average. For a smaller tank, it's perfect. Much too. We're just taking a pump that's a, you know, filtration system that the motor burned out and everything. The container's still good. And you can get your own little pumps. They're separate. We'll run a tube. Put the filter material in and all that stuff and presto. You're back in business, not a problem. Most people would throw this container away because the motor's burned out. But when you think outside the box a little bit, you can still use your shit. Yeah, uh huh? Looks beautiful. Perfect. Katie. What are you guys doing? We're taking all the fish out, Katie. Getting ready to sell some of them. What? Yeah. You know that already. Yeah. By the way, the 4th of July video is ready and you're the star the of the story. show. Me? Yeah, you. Remember the 4th of July party? What's up on YouTube now? Yeah, I saw it. Dad, oh, you couldn't have seen it already. It's an hour long. Dad will show you when he's done. Yo, Dad? Nice one. Did you already show her? No. No, he says he didn't. Sorry. You must be thinking of something else. Yeah. Because he didn't show you what I'm talking about. No, she did not show Oh, there's that sword. <laughs> Hard to catch. He just manages to maneuver out from me. And this little badass under here does uh, 350 gallons per hour. Pretty cool. He got spinning in there, that bio wheel. It's going pretty fast. Beautiful. Awesome. Hey, you got a goldfish in here too. Is there a goldfish in there? Yeah, in here, in this one. You put a goldfish in here. Oh, he must have jumped. <laughs> He's in there. He must have jumped. <laughs> no, I didn't put him in. He jumped. That would have been fun to get on camera. Oh, well. Oh, they're jumpers. Yeah, they certainly are. That's why I the have... The was a little closer. Than yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's why I have the tanks covered up in there. That I just set up. Oh, here's a golden one with a big tail. Look at that. And they are happy.
And yes, I know these tanks are overcrowded right now. That will not remain the case. Because we're going to be getting that one set up soon because we're going to be building supports for our infrastructure and stuff, so we'll be able to support that. Nice. So far, so good. There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden, hi, 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 hi.